Okay, so my name's Tim Johnson, and I do research into financial mathematics. What that means in practice is I work on building tools that help people understand how to make good decisions when they don't know what's going to happen in the future. One of the main areas that I work in is in economics. And economics is very different from, say, physics or biology or chemistry because everything's changing all the time. So for about 5,000 years, mathematicians have been working on trying to understand nature and the laws of nature don't change. But now we're starting to think about economic systems, which are basically social systems, and they're governed by laws of human behavior, and human behavior is constantly changing. So we're never dealing with a static, a stable system. And this makes understanding these sorts of social systems, the economic systems, much harder. What's very important in developing our mathematics is that we think about what actually happens, what actually happens out there in the economy. The mathematics to describe what actually happens doesn't actually exist. And we have to create the mathematics to enable us to understand the real life economy. So our understanding of science is based on mathematics, on being able to use mathematics to represent the world around us. Now that we're moving from understanding simple deterministic systems to complex and random systems, new mathematics will have to be developed. So the hope is, by using examples from the climate, from biological systems and financial markets, we're going to be able to develop new mathematics, mathematics that's going to help us understand whole new areas of science, areas that we haven't even thought about yet.